So where do you walk? Do you walk in your house? Do you walk out in your backyard? I'd love to know where you walk. Please leave me a comment below. And now we're going to get into a DIY crafting video today. And I'm going to show you how to make your own decorative napkins for decoupaging. And this is a really cool technique that I think that you're going to love. So let's stay tuned. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little napkin note card. And the big announcement coming soon. Hi, I'm Marcia. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. This is the channel for you to learn how to express your modern lifestyle, lower your stress, and learn some DIY craft tutorials along the way, and also to learn nature therapy and journaling and how to lower your stress levels with these techniques. I'm trying to get the light out of the video, <laughs> but I'm not being very successful at it. So I hope that's not uh, bothering anybody. But anyway, so this is my craft room. So you're looking at my behind the scenes of this is where, when I'm doing my videos, this is what's in my room going on behind me. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do have a complete makeover video that I did with my room here. Uh, my husband helped me, so we took everything out, painted all the walls, and then I went and purchased um, the furniture at Kohl's and on Home Shopping Network, <clears throat> and then he built me this beautiful rolling bookcase here behind me. Okay, so the first step in our project is going to be taking and peeling the napkin layers apart. So normally when I'm just wanting to use the decorative side, I get a piece of packing tape and I put it in the middle and then I rip it apart, but that, that's going to rip the napkin, but you don't want that. So we're, we're wanting just this white backing piece. So peel it apart carefully. And if the white is two plies or three plies, then your napkin uh, packaging should say if it's a two ply or three ply. And then you'll know how many to tear apart. So I'm going to save this for a future project. Okay, so this is just one, one ply here, so there's nothing else to tear apart. And now you're going to take, and you're going to take a piece of regular printer copy paper, and you're going to tape it top and bottom to the napkin. So we're not going to tape these two sides. We're just going to tape top and bottom. So we're going to take and cut off this bottom piece here. And we're going to cut it away all the way around. I'm going to hold on to it so that I can... The napkin is so thin that it's hard to hold it and do this. So don't rush it, just take your time, be patient. And it's okay, this edge doesn't have to be straight, it can be jagged. So this can be used as a wipe up piece paper towel just like you would normally use a paper towel. So you can use washi tape, masking tape, painter's tape, but you want something that um, we're going to cut it away anyway, so it's, it's not going to matter. So I'm just going to use this wider washi tape. You want to tape it first on the copy paper side.
We'll do that on both ends. Make sure it's sticking well to the paper. That's the one thing about washi, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try with the washi first. Now you're gonna fold this over. And you want it to just stick to the napkin really easily. Do the same thing on this end. Okay, so now we're going to go to the printer and I'm going to pick one of my monthly journal prompt freebies that I send out to my people on my mailing list and that's what I'm going to print out onto the napkin. Okay so let's go to the printer. I'm going to show you the failed attempt first and then the good attempt second. Okay so the first thing you want to do is load the napkin in the paper in the tray. So you know that everything that is going to be printed on, you put in um, face down, so the paper needs to be loaded this way, then it will feed it in and it will print it on the napkin side. So let me see, I'm going to put it on this end because this has better washi tape holding it. <coughs> Okay, so this is the first time of me doing this, so we're going to give it a whirl together and see how it works. Okay, so now I'm going to print out my design. And let's see what happens. Let's hope it goes through perfectly. And if I have it upside down, I'll just flip it over. wanting to jam. Okay, so that didn't work. <clears throat> so instead of using the washi tape, I'm going to have to find my masking tape. So this end did okay, but it's already wrinkled the paper. So I don't know, and it's wrinkled the napkin too much. I don't think it's going to go through. So let's try this a different way. I ironed the napkin, taped it to a new piece of paper, Okay, so I put it through using masking tape to hold it. So let's hope it's going to work right. Yes! This is so fun. Now it did wrinkle up the bottom of the masking tape right here, but thank goodness it went through. But look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Look, we have our image and we have some wording. Very nice. So you can see I really made sure and I trimmed it here at the edges so there was nothing sticking out here because it wasn't going to go through unless I made sure and trimmed it really close on both ends. Okay, now let me take it to 
the craft room and let's do a project. Black Friday sale, 50% off at my Pioneer fundraiser shop. Okay, so now we just need to cut it away and all we're going to do is cut it right at the front of where the tape is. Just remove that piece of copy paper and now here's the napkin image okay. and this happens to be my new Sunshine Makers Club logo isn't that pretty so it's all about expressing your modern lifestyle and the secret of women's happiness is expressing your modern lifestyle okay and that um, membership club doors open December 1st. So I'm launching, launching this new uh, community membership program. So any of you watching are welcome and invited to join the club. And to find out everything that is going to be included, I'll be doing a special video, but you can also get on my mailing list. And we're gonna have a pre-launch party with all kinds of deals and the um, first week that the membership doors open will be 50% off of your membership. And then after that first seven days ends, it will go back to the regular price. So you don't wanna miss out on that. So get on my mailing list at sunshinemakersclub.com. The list link will be in the description below and you will be invited to that launch party to sign up at that special 50% off discounted rate. Okay, so now what I want to do is we're going to just use this embellishment. We're going to decorate, not a book page because I already have print on here. So I want to just take a nice um, solid or, you know, somewhat semi decorative piece of paper or cardstock. So I'm going to just use this right here. And this is just for demonstration purposes only. So these are just some prints that I had printed out. I think this is Tracy's kit, but it was supposed to be yellow. <laughs> Obviously, it's not yellow. But I just want to show you, you know, just like I said, for demonstration. And then I can use this if I want to use it on something later on. So I just want to, I don't want to put it down here on the print area here where the wording is. I want the wording up here. So again, I'm just going to cut the napkin. I'm going to cut it right on this fold line where the napkin folded naturally. And I'm going to try to get that as straight as I can. And we're going to use our normal techniques and supplies. So we're going to need some tacky glue or watered down glue is basically what I like to use. And so you're going to need a paintbrush. Just getting rid of that white. I think my scissors must have something sticky on them because it's wanting to stick to the grab hold of that paper. And I want to cut around this image as much as I can down to the wording. I don't want this white part of the napkin. You can do yours any way you want. Depending on what you are going to print. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of center it right here. And then I will glue this on. Just don't want you to miss out on this beautiful grand opening I'm going to be having. Okay, so I, I changed my mind. I'm going to do this a little differently. So I'm going to just um, <clears throat> put a little bit of glue stick in the back and the center. And I'm going to glue them down to the paper. And then I'm going to laminate it on just the front side. And 
I'm going to make these into a welcome postcard for my membership. So everyone who joins the club will be getting one of these cute little postcards. And so in order to just laminate one side, you want to put in two pieces of plain copy paper onto the back. but I'm not going to waste the lamination so I'm going to find a few other things that I have on my desk that I want to laminate. Okay, so I found this beautiful sheet of digitals and I don't know where I even got it from. I'll have to look through the pack and see if there's a shop name on there. <clears throat> if I can find it, I'll put it in the description below, but this will be beautiful. Okay, so now the light's on, and I'm going to make sure those are all flat. Put through the laminator now, and I use the 5 mil setting, even though the laminate is says 3 mil, but you want to use the 5 mil because you want it hotter, and then it will adhere and it won't go anywhere, it won't come apart later on. This is a really fun way to protect the top of the image. And you can still sew on the top of this so I can add any kind of, if I wanted to put a, some kind of a little cluster, but these are so beautiful just like they are. I might put um, lace at the bottom or something like that a little button on it you know you could glue on this you can sew on it okay so now that's finished so we're going to let that dry <clears throat> cool off actually not dry but cool off and then the little project will be done completed and so once i cut it apart I'll show you how to do that because if you're new to my channel, you've never seen me do this before. And unless you um, have watched other people laminating just one side, you don't know how to do it. So I want to show you how to do it. So isn't this nice? So now the napkin has been permanently affixed to the laminate and this background paper. So that's why I wanted to cut off a lot of this white because now I want to cut it in a you know, square kind of a shape, which is going to be a little difficult here. So I'm going to barely get to the top of her head, so I'll, I'll have to come a little bit closer underneath of the printing here and go across so that I don't get too close to the top of that head image and then cut across down here, and then I can cut easily there. So it'll be here and up and then here and down and okay that'll be fine okay so now it's ready it only takes a few seconds for this to cool it's not very long okay so you just want to make sure when you're cutting flip it both sides and you want to cut right up at the edge but over a little bit so that's what's nice about when you have a digital and it has that white border or something you want that because then you can cut it away and open it up without cutting into your image. So see it's already opening and coming apart. Over here the same thing. Such a cool technique, I love it. Whenever I can incorporate it into my projects, I do. This is 
very close to that bottom. Okay. So there's your just the sheet that these were printed on. The paper backing is still there. And then here's the sheet that this was printed on. And then, okay, I've got to peel off the other piece. All right, so here it's, here's where it separates. So I just need to trim it a little bit more. You only want to trim a very little bit by the edge because you don't want to mess up where you might want to be by the image you're actually going to use. So if I were to cut too much, then I might cut into where I actually want. So there you go. Uh, separate those two pieces. And you can save those for future if you have it um, left over a big portion like what I did clear my desk off again. Okay, so now <clears throat> here it is. So here's the napkin. Nice and beautiful and easy. And I love that just using the glue stick. So you don't have to decoupage it when you're going to do it like in this kind of a style. If I was, wasn't going to do it this way, then I would have just glued it down, put the glue over the top of it, let it dry, cut it out, and then I would have glued this sheet to a piece of cardstock. So that's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to cut this out now and I'm going to glue this to um, cardstock so it'll make a very nice presentation. And then this is just, it's so smooth now. And so, it, but the paper backing, so you have a beautiful um, paper still that you can glue down easily. So on these, like I said, so it's really, really nice. All right, so I'm going to set that aside move the laminator now out of the way. Get my cutting mat. So this is something you want to be, don't use scissors when you have something that's so close and precise like this is going to be. And I want a straight line, <clears throat> so I'm having to use the clear part of the ruler and I'm lining it up. Let me see if I can zoom in to show you. It's not letting, letting me zoom in. Okay, I'll try to zoom in on my editing. Alright, so here is the edge here, so I'm making sure this is lined up up here. Okay, here's the wording, the top of her head. So I'm coming in between the two. And I'm going to use my scoring piece first and then cut it. Oh, very good. So right under that wording, just like I wanted it to be. So that looks really nice. Now I'm just going to trim it up here. cute little card that's going to go into the welcome packet. So there's a nice little welcome packet that comes in with your membership kit. So you're going to have a wonderful little welcome packet full of goodies from me. So this is going to be one of those. You're getting a sneak peek before everybody else. I haven't even given this out in my Facebook group or my mailing list yet. So you're getting a sneak peek first. So if you're watching and you're a member in my Facebook group or on the mailing list, so now you're getting the sneak peek. Oh, very nice. Didn't those turn out really pretty? I love them. 
just to make it where it's just not a stark white, you know, I could print this out, the image on the white paper, but then it would just be, but this with the nice, you know, muted background, it just looks really, really cute. I love this. So I hope you love this technique today, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get more creative videos like this and learn how to uh, relax and un um, unlock your creativity and express your modern lifestyle with these kind of DIY crafts and the nature journaling tips that I share here on my channel. If you're taking part in the daily walking challenge or just the walking challenge, whether you're walking daily or not, I'd love to hear from you as well. And if you don't know anything about that and you would like to join in that, then just uh, I will link that video at the end of this one so that you can watch that and take part. And I share a daily video, which is what I started off this video with. So thank you for being here with me today and watch that video. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the like button and leave me a comment because all of that helps me to get found in search and helps other people to find me as well. Keep creating in the sunshine and stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.